Come on. Lucy. Hi, Jake. Um, welcome home. It, it's very good to see you. You know, I, I saw you in court, and I was very, very impressed with what you were doing with Anna's case. I mean, it's hard to shock and upset Scotty Ball when you did an excellent job. Lucy, what are you doing here? Well, it's not a very friendly tone to take with someone you know as well as you've known me. I think I know you a little too well. Look, Jake, I just need help, and I knew you'd be the person to come to. I need your help. <laughs> Lucy, I don't know if I'd help you out of a burning building. Oh, well, I didn't realize you were still poisoned by me so much. You know something, Jake, that's not very healthy. I will take after my mental health in my own way. Thank you. Wait, will you just listen for a minute, okay? I'm in a completely different place than I was before. I'm a different person, and right now I'm in the midst of a big divorce, and I need your help, or I'm going to lose everything. Well, you and Tony are getting divorced. Why doesn't that surprise me? You know something, Lucy? I don't even know what's happening between you and Tony, and I'm on Tony's side. But what if I could prove that Tony and Bobby were sleeping together? Do you hate Bobby that much that you come in? No, I'm this? just saying, what if I could prove... I suggest I... you keep your mouth shut about it. Whether it's true or not. For now and forevermore. But, Jake, wouldn't the courts be very interested in that information, given Bobby's past record? What? You're not going to try to trudge up all that old garbage, No, I am not talking about when she was a hooker. I am talking about since you left for South America. Like what? Well, I, I'm sure I can tell you because it was common knowledge. I mean, they didn't try and hide it. Bobby and Scotty Baldwin were sleeping together, and everybody knew it. Wait a minute, Jake. You don't have to believe me. Get you can out. ask Ruby. You can ask Bobby. Because Bobby. Get out! Lie. No, it's true. Get out! It's fine. I didn't need your help anyway, Mr. Myers. Dr. Deborah Eaton, contact the lab. Dr. Hello there. What a nice surprise for you, eagerly awaiting me. Come and sit down, okay? I don't want everybody in the hospital to see us talking. It looks to me like there's hardly anybody walking around the hospital right now. Except that Amy Vining happens to be on duty upstairs, and she can spread rumors faster than the speed of light. Plus, I have to stay close in case I'm paged. Well, nobody hates meeting this way more than I do. Sneaking around and hiding is not what I want for us. It is humiliating, isn't it? Well, that's why I'm here. Have you thought about my idea? We can find a really nice apartment. We can put it in your name if that's okay, and then we don't have to worry about people watching and looking and listening or whatever. Yes, I have thought about it. Let me ask you something. Sure. I know you're concerned about Anna Lavery, and you've been going down on the trial to lend moral support. I hope it helps her. And, of course, Jake is there defending her. Now, does having seen him again, is that causing this indecision about this apartment? Gregory, having a lover Set you up in a secret apartment is not something that a woman does lightly. Now listen, it transforms our friendship into a backstreet affair. I don't see it that way. Well, look, whether I end up doing this or not, please don't rush me. I'm not trying to. I've got to say something. I mean, suddenly I'm, I'm, I'm feeling like I'm losing you. So to me, the apartment is a commitment. Look, please try to understand. Having Jake come back into town right now, having him come back into my life is very confusing for me. You said it right the first time, back in your life. Uh, when do you get off work tonight? I mean, we, we've got to find some place so we can finish this conversation. I can't tonight because Jake has... has... Go on, Jake has to what? Well... For some reason or another, since he came back, we've just been putting off talking to each other, and he asked me if I would do that tonight. I see. So, talking to Jake takes precedence over talking to me. Gregory, listen to what you're saying. Sort of like being with Claire takes precedence over being with me? Mrs. Search Warren, Scorpio. And get one thing very clear. Demetra is the light that gives meaning to my life. I will not see her abused and bullied. 
I'm sorry you feel that way, Victor. I have nothing against her. I was winding up a report on the summit meeting and the investigation into Olivia's shooting. Then you take it easy with Dimitra. Are you sure Julian was shot? Either him or Cheryl. Hard to say, there was blood on the ground. Bad? Bad enough. You believe I love my son. He's all I have left in my life. Your daughter's still alive? Olivia. She has discredited herself as my daughter. No, it's Julian. I want him back. I want to make sure he's well. And we're both working for the same side, hmm? You tell me when you see him. I'll have the hospital make an emergency pickup as soon as I hear from you. Of course, I'll tell you. Uh, here. I have placed the shoes and the purse in the bottom of this garment bag. It would be easier to carry them. Thank you. I'll take good care of them. Um, uh, will I get them back? Uh, Victor gave them to me. Oh, yeah, it's a day or two. I want to thank you both for your time. Keep in touch, Mr. Jerome. Of course, Mr. Scorpio. Phil, come in here. What the hell was that all about? Yes, sir. Phil, Julian's been shot. What? I can't believe it. Oh, this is what I want you to do. Contact somebody, your girlfriend's cousin's cousin, somebody in no way connected with the mob. Send him to the safe house. Everything in me tells me that he's there. I have to be sure that Julian's okay. Yeah, well, I wish you could see her too, Doc, but I just don't think we can do it. Yeah, her fever's about 103. Well, it's, the tissue around the wound is still very red, and it just, it doesn't look right, Doc. Yeah, wait. wait. Hang on a sec. Four pills now and two every couple hours. Yeah. Topical ointment, what's that? Okay. Yeah, well, I'm outside the drugstore right now, so just call it in. I'll wait here and I'll, I'll, I'll get it. I can have the stuff to her in 20 minutes. Okay. The number's, uh, Five 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 four seven seven four. Yeah. Okay. Uh, send the bill to Arnie. Okay, Doc. Yeah. You've saved the day once again. Thank you. Bye. Pardon, sir. Could I see your identification? an ID to go to the drugstore around these parts? Visiting for the holidays, Mr. Uh, Patterson? Yeah, uh, it was all set for, uh, set for skiing, but uh, I guess it's too early. Sorry for holding you up, sir. There's been an urgent APB out all day yeah, about your size and coloring. Uh, <laughs> well, lots of guys around like that, huh? Good luck. There you go. Just ordered a bottle of wine. I was hoping you'll have dinner with me. Okay, I will definitely have dinner with you, but I don't really feel like wine. I feel like champagne, maybe some dinner, some dancing, something wonderful, because this is a really good night. You got it. Waiter, cancel the Chardonnay and bring me a bottle of champagne. Mm -hmm. Very good. I must tell you, though, as amazing of a lawyer that I am, I'm still working on public service wages. It's not exactly on profit Okay, sort of okay, okay. You pay for the dinner, and I will pay for the champagne. I mean, after all, I did do this as much for you as for me, remember? Waiter, make that a French champagne. So come on. 
You really stuck it to Jake. Scott, it was wonderful. I stuck it to him so good. First, I don't know, he was like shocked and stunned. He didn't say much. And then all of a sudden he got really, really angry and furious with me and he pushed me out. Listen, first, he didn't really believe me that I was telling the truth that you two slept together. Well, how'd you convince him without the help of visual aids? Well, I simply told him to ask Bobby. Beautiful. Unlike you, Bobby can't tell a lie. Well, true. However, I have this wonderful feeling that tomorrow Jake's going to be so rattled he won't even show up for court. Oh, <laughs> and they're going to have a big fight tonight? I bet so. I you know, there is one thing that worries me. If you thought that Jake might come after you with a baseball bat for what you did to his wife? No way. A, Bobby and he did was a mutual thing. B, lawyers don't hit each other, they sue. <laughs> and C, Jake knows that I would shoe shine him. Thank you. And thank you. Ah. Here's to that ugly word, truth. May it knock Jake on his teaster in the courtroom. Oh, he's going to be a definite bastard. Hmm. Hmm. You know what? I shouldn't have to pay for this. I did you a tremendous favor. Well, we could always go to the Barrington Mansion and drink free champagne. <clears throat> Come on. We really stuck it to Bobby, didn't we? Okay. Okay. Yeah, we did. And the best part of it is I didn't tell him that one little detail that Bobby is also having an affair with Gregory Howard. I saved that. Oh, that's great. I'm going to overload his little brain so that's way we can stretch out the fun. We he finds exactly what kind of a wife he's got. You know, I love this. I love this. I love it, too. I'll spring for this champagne. I'm sure we can think of other ways to pay me back. that the lobby is almost empty because a man feels very foolish standing here with his foot in his mouth. I wasn't trying to make you feel foolish. No, you were just telling me like it is about your feelings about being in second place to my wife. I understand all that. In my own clumsy way, that's the idea behind this apartment. It's a commitment for me to you. It's not a love nest. Yes, but explain that distinction to the tabloids. And then to come up green-eyed and jealous about your husband being back in town, and just... <laughs> I was out of bounds. I, I apologize. I'm sorry. Gregory, please understand. Jake and I do have to talk. There are a lot of things that have never been said, starting with why he left in the first place. I understand. I'll just have to wait for an answer about the apartment until I get back from Albany. When will that be? Two or three days. Understanding that you and Jake have a lot of ground to cover. Should I be worried? Bobby Meyer to emergency OR. Oh, talk about timing. I'm sorry. I have to go. Okay, go, 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 go. Uh, yes or no? I mean, should I be worried? Can you give me a clue? I'll be here when you get back. Call me. 